For some Sudanese refugees in camps in Chad, fear is turning to anger. Eager to talk about the injustices they are facing, many are unable to speak without crying. Usman was separated from his family when fighting broke out in Al Janaina in West Darfur. He searched for weeks before crossing the border. People who are in Janaina now, they are suffering from every side. They are not, there is no food, there is no medicine, there is no place to go, there is no place to go to, to, go to get water. Uh, I want to send my message to help those people. He lost a hand in a previous conflict and says if he doesn't find his family, he will do the unthinkable and go back. To streets lined with the dead, to risk meeting the same fate. This territory, the gunman says, is now under militia control. Those who've worked in Darfur for decades blame political neglect, a collapse of state authority and previous governments who armed certain communities for their own political gain. The war in Khartoum is a classic battle between two rival forces in a struggle for power. In Darfur, and especially in El Janina, it is much more existential between communities. It goes to the struggle for land, uh, for water, uh, for use of natural resources, precious metals and min minerals. Refugees say Al Janina is the worst place in the world. Mujib Al Rahman is an African Masalit leader. He says the city is home to dozens of tribes, but one is being singled out and persecuted. If you see in Khartoum, RSF fight with SAF. But in Al Janina, RSF fight against Masarid and black people. Daily we lose more than 50 people. Daily, daily. <laughs> Majib says he will return to defend his hometown or die trying. <laughs> On street level, it is obvious that more and more people are arriving from Sudan on a daily basis. The refugees we speak to say, while it is true that the militias are targeting one specific tribe at the moment, the violence is so widespread, it is affecting everybody. UN calls for a ceasefire have been drowned out by the sounds of war. Aid groups worry the ongoing violence could spread across the region. The Masalit warn, if the militias are not stopped, other tribes could be targeted next. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Adre, Eastern Chad.